Hello, Dr. Ju here. Now, your kidneys are very important to your health, meaning you have to look after your kidneys. It's even more important that you look after your kidneys if you have got any of these medical conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, autoimmune diseases like lupus, or if you are simply overweight but bordering on obesity. You really have to pay attention to your kidneys and look after them very well. So, here's something else you should know. There are supplements on the market right now that potentially can harm your kidneys. We're going to be talking about four of them today for the purpose of brevity because there are quite a number of them. So, I have handpicked four of those supplements to talk about today just to keep the video short. So, what are those four supplements? Uh, how about we jump right in? Right, so we're going to look at supplements that could potentially harm your kidneys, okay? That is what we're going to be talking about now. Let's move on to supplement number one, and that is aloe vera. I'm sure this is a surprise one for you because it's quite popular. It is used for all sorts of medical conditions, inclusive of managing flu. They use it to manage flu, glaucoma liver fibrosis which essentially is scarring of the liver psoriasis which is a very common skin condition uh aloe vera tends to uh, be very effective for that even malaria okay malaria and of course type 2 diabetes there's some evidence to suggest that aloe vera does have the potential to lower your blood sugar level since it is used for type 2 diabetes now for all of these wide range of uses uh well aloe vera does have a problem and that is the fact that uh, as side effects it can cause diarrhea uh it does lower your potassium levels uh which is not a good thing because you need your potassium to maintain your blood pressure for instance and all sorts of other uses and more importantly though aloe vera has been shown or reported to cause kidney failure yes kidney failure so uh, for all its uses, you want to be looking out for, uh, you know, your kidneys to make sure that your kidneys are in tip top shape. Otherwise, uh, you may want to stay off aloe vera. This is very important for people who already have, you know, chronic kidney disease. Uh, I will suggest you avoid aloe vera altogether. Now, in case you're wondering whether, uh, you know, what I'm saying is actually true. Well, here's uh, a review that was published in Phytotherapy Research Journal uh, with the title, Aloemodine, a review of its pharmacology, toxicity, and pharmacokinetics. And in this very review, they talk about the fact that aloe vera is toxic to the kidneys. Uh, I'm going to leave links below if you want to go have a look for yourself. So uh, you really want to be looking out for your uh, kidney function if you're somebody using aloe vera please be careful okay please be careful so that is supplement number one and it's quite popular let's move on to supplement number two and uh, supplement number two is actually a herb it is stinging nettle okay stinging nettle now if you have been in contact with this very herb uh, you will understand why the name stinging is added to the nettle. Uh, the name is quite appropriate because it's really quite irritating to the skin. And uh, you can have it in tea format as well. So uh, this is stinging nettle tea. Uh, you can see that on the right. So what is it used for? Well, you know, stinging nettle is used to treat painful muscles, painful joints, eczema, uh, arthritis, which are, you know, inflamed joints, gout, and you can also use it for tension relief. If you are stressed, having a bit of stinging nettles can provide you with some relief. And also because it's got a high iron content, we also can use it for managing anemia. So it's got all of these nice uses uh, all around. However, something you should know is that uh, stinging nettles can cause acute or progressive kidney injury. Okay, so please, uh, if you're using uh, stinging nettles, also be on the lookout for your kidney function. Make sure that uh, your kidney function is uh, preserved. 
if there's any suggestion of deterioration of your kidney function, then you have to come off it straight away. So that is herb or supplement number two. Uh, let's move on to supplement number three that can potentially harm your kidneys. And that is licorice root. Okay, licorice root. Well, licorice root is becoming really notorious because if you remember when I did a video on supplements that raise blood pressure, well, licorice root featured in there. And uh, there is a relationship between what I said in that video and what I'm going to say here in this very video. And you'll find out shortly. So licorice root, uh, what is the active ingredient in licorice root that is a problem? Well, it is glycyrrhizine. Okay, that same compound again, glycyrrhizine, it is right here. And it is an irritant to the kidneys. Okay, glycyrrhizine is an irritant to the kidneys. Uh, why is that? Well, it's because glycyrrhizine does raise your blood pressure. And of course, if your blood pressure is elevated, then blood circulation through the kidneys is going to be affected, is going to be reduced, and reduced circulation in the kidneys will lead to acute kidney injury. And if it is not recognized early, then of course, that can lead to chronic kidney disease. So something for you to look out for as well. So let's move on to supplement number four that can cause kidney injury. And number four supplement that potentially can harm your kidneys is creatine. Okay, creatine. Now, I'm sure some of you are really surprised to find creatine on this list. Well, don't be. Uh, because as popular as it is amongst bodybuilders, they use it when they want to look ripped. Uh, they want to really get those biceps up and, you know, the, those pecs. Well, for all of that benefit, well, uh, you know, creatine does cause problems. So it may be safe to use by a lot of people, but here's the thing. When you combine creatine with a high protein diet, which is what a lot of people tend to do, then you are putting your kidneys at risk. Now, let me repeat that. Creatine may be safe to use by a lot of people, but when you combine creatine with a high protein diet, then that is a recipe for kidney injury. So I just want you guys to really remember this. Hence, I needed to uh, really emphasize that. So uh, in case you're wondering, well, what is Dr. Joe talking about? Well, here is a case report of kidney damage caused by creatine in a very young person, uh, a guy who is just 18 years of age. Uh, he was using creatine for bodybuilding at the age of 18. Well, you have to wonder why an 18 year old really wants to look ripped, but each to their own. Uh, he wants to look ripped, and then of course he got himself some creatine. And uh, what do you know? He ended up trashing his kidneys, okay? And uh, this is not speculation because uh, this very kidney injury was confirmed uh, by a kidney biopsy which showed acute tubular necrosis acute tubular necrosis is when you're knocking off a lot of the tubes that help in the filtration process in your kidneys and then uh what then happens is that you know the more of them you knock off then of course the more kidney damage that will occur but here's the thing if you catch it early you can reverse it as happened in this very case because this young chap uh eventually had his kidney function reversed after 25 days so he managed to get away with it uh maybe because he was young uh is it possible that if this had happened in a 55 year old or even a 45 year old uh the, it would be reversible well it is difficult to say but uh, the point is that if you are using creatine and you're using a high protein diet at the same time then of course you are asking for trouble potentially for your kidneys and here's a little warning for you even though creatine may be popular and is being used by a lot of people, well, if you're somebody who has got chronic kidney disease already, please, I will suggest you avoid using creatine altogether. So that is condition number one. Condition number two is if you're somebody who is using what we call nephrotoxic medications, so medications that potentially are toxic to your kidneys, please also avoid using creatine. The reason for that is, if you're using uh, medications that are toxic to the kidneys and you combine that with creatine, then you're going to end up with a synergistic effect 
that may be irreversible for you. So please, uh, if you are somebody who's got chronic kidney disease, stay away from uh, creatine. And also, if you're using medications that are potentially nephrotoxic or toxic to your kidneys, please also stay away from using creatine. Okay, so the list of supplements in this very video, supplements that potentially can harm your kidneys, this list that I've shared with you in this video is not exhaustive. So, I mean, there are some more supplements that I hope to share with you. So, there's going to be a part two to this very video. That's to come up at some point in future, okay? So, be on the lookout for that. But for the purpose of today, this is your lot. And I'm hoping that you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you've got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead. Leave your comments or questions down below. I think that's it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.